Well, hello. What we're going to do today is etch or dissolve out the calcite from this rock. It was self-collected at an old Ontario iron mine. And what got my attention is, see right there? There's a big broken pyrite. And on the other side, somewhere here, there is a wee one. Um, there it is. Hardly worth mentioning, but that's an indicator to me that there's pyrites inside this rock. And what I'd love to do is dissolve the calcite using regular table vinegar and see what may in fact be hidden inside. Oh, one comment on my earlier videos when dissolving rock with vinegar is that'd be great for kids and I agree um, as long as the kids understand it's not a really quick process so they need some patience take a week or more uh, refresh your vinegar a few times most important is you don't know what other minerals are inside the rock and it's be really prudent to make sure when they're done playing around with it that they wash up. You just don't want them to, uh, to get some nasty mineral on themselves that dissolved out in the solution and then right away eat a sandwich. I think that makes sense. So, let's have some fun. Okay, I'm just using a regular plastic gold pan the plastic doesn't interfere with the acidity that's in the vinegar and we'll add regular table vinegar and you can see there's just a little bit of bubbling happening that's a good sign so we'll come back to it later well, it's now been 10 days and places where it was just calcite are very fragile. Whoops. Uh, let's take a look. There's the big pyrite, but so far no little brothers have shown up or big brothers. Uh, on this side couple little pyrites over here but really hardly anything so on this side there's a pyrite there's a pyrite little ones but again not a huge consolidation of them I think we'll put it back in refresh with more vinegar and see what's further back in behind Well, it's now been another two weeks, and I think it's time to take it out and take a look at this rock. It uh, didn't have the amount of pyrite I thought it would. Oh, there goes a piece. Still a lot of calcite left. Let's put her down. So there's pyrite in there. Some little ones around it, but nothing spectacular. There's the bottom. I've gone through quite a bit of vinegar, and I'm not sure the rock is worth it. So here's what we're going to do. We'll look in here. Like there was the first pyrite I had seen. And it's broken off. I dissolved the calcite out from around it. Other little pyrites have broken out. The rest is just junk. I think what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to give it a cut with the towel saw and see what truly is inside and decide whether or not this is where we stop or if it's worth continuing. So let's do that. So there's the rock on the inside, and surprisingly, it's actually nicely marbled and solid. So I'm thinking, rather than etch it anymore, it probably is a better rock to cut up or break up and put in a rock tumbler. I, if I just dissolve more of it out, I don't think it's going to get any better. So, we're at end of job. Thank you for watching.